Hi guys, if you've just come off my last video, you will have seen me walk my bike over Plymouth Road Bridge because my dainty little legs were too knackered and tired to cycle over the hill. So now I am on the next leg of my cycle home. I'm on Benson Road, about to go on to Bispen Road. I think I am trying to get... I'm not good with the road names down here. I'm okay in the middle of Blackpool, but around here, I don't really know hardly any of the road names. I know that's Oregon Avenue, what we've just passed on the left, but I only know that because I saw the street sign on the wall. And that one to the right was Cannock Avenue. Again, I just read the street sign. I remember this from being young around here because we would get the number nine bus to college. I used to go down here when I went to Bispham Tech. I remember one day there was a new driver and he went the wrong way. He turned the wrong way and all the kids on the bus started laughing. We were going, you've gone the wrong way, mate. But I just remember he accidentally turned the wrong way. I mean, it was no big deal. He backed up and soon got himself on the right way. Right, there was no drama. Oh, and that Tesco, that used to be the windmill. Didn't it? Was it a pub called the windmill? I think it was. Never went in there. But anyway, we are on Bispen Road now. And I think we're heading towards Leighton, and I think we'll go through Leighton as well. Let's just nip across here now. The wall looks quiet. There we go. I think I'm doing more walking than cycling. But my knees and thighs and calves and ankles, my whole legs in general, they're just tired. Really, really tired. So yeah, I think I'll get to the top of this little hilly bit and then we should be good to go to cycle the rest of the way, hopefully. That road there on the right is Mansfield Road. Now I'm about to cycle down Westcliff Drive. So yeah, this is Westcliff Drive, what I'm cycling on now. And we've got a nice downhill bit. So that suits me just fine. Just past Brooklyn Avenue on the left. St Mark's Place on the right. And Highbury Avenue. Is this one that's on the left? On the right, that one is Pelham Avenue. And the one I'm about to pass now on the left is Norwood Avenue. There you go, I still don't know the names of the streets, I'm just reading the street line, the street signs. That was Linwood Avenue. And I missed the name of that one on the right. And now we're going through Leighton. Cycling past Leighton Cemetery on the right. Past Huntley Avenue on the left and past this nice little collection of shops. Oh, that's right, you open your door as I'm cycling past. A few nice little local shops there. Ragamuffin School and Babywear. I think that's been there for years. That is Grenfell Avenue. I remember that being there when my kids were little. My daughter's grown up now. And 
Another little nice boutique there, Curtis Corner Boutique, that looks nice, on Grange Road. Corner of Grange Road and Leighton Road, because we're on Leighton Road now, folks, and this pavement is very potholy and, well, pavement is the road. It's very potholy and janky and bumpy. That is Broughton Avenue. And there's a little tea shop there on the corner of that one. Seems there's a nice shop on every corner. And the road's a bit better now. Got a fish and chip shop there on the left on the corner of Drummond Avenue. And Larbrick Avenue, and we've got Memorial Masons on one side and Alphabets on the other. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm going so slow. My knees are so ouch, ouch, ouch. Do you ever have one of those days when you feel like you're struggling the whole day from start to finish and everything's too tiring and too much? I think that's one of these days I'm having now. Once I get home and get a big thing of water and a big mug of milky coffee and some food inside me, I should be good. Although I did eat a lot before I came out because I was up all night basically. So I just thought, even though I'm not hungry, I'm going to make some food. So I sparked up the George Foreman grill. It's only a tiny little George Foreman grill. But it just makes one really nice toasty. And I made myself a cheese toasty. I put a slice of cheese on, some spready cheese on, two slices of ham, and lots of slices of tomato. And that was nice. Oh look there, we've got Leighton Houses on the right. That used to be where the flats stood. You know, the high-rise flats. I do have some videos of the high-rise flats. I managed to get a bit of video before they knocked them down. And I actually booked the day of work when they were demolishing them so I could film it, but I was ill on that day. I had a really, really horrible sore throat. I had a cough, I had a headache. So it was a good job I'd booked the day off because I couldn't have gone into work but I was too sick to go to the flats. So that sucked a bit. The street we're crossing now, everybody, is Corn Street. That leads right into town. It goes a fair way further on down that way. It's a really long street. We've got a little Morrison's Daily on the left and trees on the right, a little bit of green area. Come on, come on, come on knees, don't let me down now. We're not far off home now. Come on, knees, keep going. At least you guys are seeing some new roads and streets and places. That's what I want to do, do more videos cycling the streets of Blackpool. So you lot get to see many different streets. lights on the corner then I'm going to hop off the bike and check the length of the video make sure it's not getting too long nearly there almost at the lights oh and it's going uphill again no wonder my knees are knackered uh, 
that's one. Come on, lights don't change. Right, we're just going off Collingwood Avenue now and we're crossing Newton Drive. And we're moving on to Beach Avenue. So as we enter Beach Avenue, I am going to just check the length of the video. I can't see until I unless I get off the bike and look. Yeah, that's long enough because it's got, just got over 10 minutes. So I am going to end this one here. But guys, thank you for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you very soon in the next one. Goodbye.